Ever since the 1970s, hot hatches have soared in popularity by creating a homogeneous relationship between performance and practicality. But what about compact wagons such as the 2017 Renault Megane GT that tones down the former and dials up the latter? The French brand first explored this niche in 2013 with the Megane GT 220 sports wagon, slotting it between the bread and butter Megans and the hardcore RS, fettled by sporty subdivision Renault Sport. With the chassis and, the tuned, 2.0-liter turbo engine from the RS 265 hot hatch, but with two extra doors. It was no surprise when the GT 220 quickly turned from limited edition to permanent edition. A hatch version was added a year later. The wagon variant follows this time, bringing a familiar specification to the GT hatch released in October 2016, but with the requisite longer dimensions and bigger boot. The extra dose of practicality costs just $1,000 over the $38,490 hatch, the same premium charged for the Zen and GT line trim grades that complete the Renault Megane wagon lineup. That additional grand buys some extra metal and space. The wagon is 27 centimeters longer than the hatch, helping to boost luggage capacity by a third, from 434 liters to 580 liters. When dropping the rear seats, Renault says the wagon offers a total of 1,504 liters, compared with the hatch's 1,247 liters, up 21%. The maximum loading length in this scenario also stretches from about 158 cm to a more IKEA-friendly 175 cm, though the cargo floor isn't as flat as the Swedish brand's ready-to-assemble furniture owing to a prominent step where the seats fold. At least the wagon sill height is lower than the smaller five doors, by 15 cm, to make loading, unloading easier, and seat release levers in the boot are standard. Look under the cargo floor of a Megane GT fitted with a $1,490 premium pack, as our test car was, and at first glance you might think Bose had diversified into temporary spare wheels, such as the size of the audio system subwoofer. It means making do with the tire repair kit. There's no change to the wheelbase, yet Renault has managed to liberate nearly 4 cm of extra rear legroom with the wagon's packaging. Sounds small yet it's enough to upgrade knee space from so-so to pretty good. Three adults across the back is still a squeeze and forward vision is partially obscured by the broadly shouldered sports front seats. The outer rear seating positions are comfortable, and there's also a nice detail with slots into which you can tuck the outer rear seat belts. Up front is identical to the new Megane fascia introduced in 2016 and a much needed advance over the predecessor's rather bland dash. There is a key change, though. Renault has used the introduction of the wagon, as well as a sedan, to upgrade the touchscreen from the 7.0 inches to the 8.7 inch version that was previously optional on the hatch. Renault used the wagon's release to apply the bigger display across the Megane board, along with various driver aids on the higher spec models, though there's still no smartphone mirroring tech such as Apple CarPlay.